What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me today. You might be feeling a little bit of deja vu as I just uploaded a how to install Hacks Chief video except it was for Wii U's on version 5.5.1. So this video you're looking at here is going to get you set up installing Hacks Chief using the new web exploit on 5.5.2. Now the new web exploit doesn't work perfectly all the time, but following this video, I'm going to have you set up so that you have your highest chances of getting it to launch the homebrew launcher. And then once you've finally gotten it to launch, you're already going to be set up to load Hacks G over top of a DS Virtual Console game. Keep watching, guys. Just a quick disclaimer, although HaxG is perfectly safe to install, I'm not responsible for any damage to your Wii U by following this tutorial. Should you install Cold Boot HaxG after following this tutorial, please know there is a risk of bricking your Wii U with Cold Boot HaxG. HaxG is perfectly safe, but Cold Boot HaxG has risks. What you need to get started installing HaxG on your 5.5.2 device is go ahead and make sure you have a legit purchased eShop DS Virtual Console game that is compatible with HaxG. I'm going to put a full game list in the description in case you already have one of these DS Virtual Console games that you might want to use for HaxG. Now just be noted that you're not going to be able to play this game anymore until you uninstall HaxG. The game that I'm going to be using and that most people use is Brain Age, Train Your Brain in Minutes a Day. It's under $10 on the eShop and I highly recommend getting it. Just a note, Brain Age is called Dr. Kawashima's Brain Training if you're in a PAL region. And it may or may not come up for free depending on when you created or when you got your Wii U. Next thing you're going to need is the homebrew launcher plus a HaxG installer on your Wii U's SD card. That's going to be the first thing we do and then we're going to go grab a virtual console game and we'll get installing HaxG in no time. Insert your Wii U's SD card into an SD card reader and go ahead and open it up on your PC. If you've had Hacks installed before, it might look something like this. What I want you to do is open up your Wii U folder, open up the apps, and if you have a homebrew launcher, go ahead and delete the entire folder. We're going to be replacing it with an earlier version of the homebrew launcher that works better with the 5.5.2 web exploit. So now that you've done that, if you have a blank SD card, then just start following along now. All you have to do is download HaxG Installer 5.5.2.zip from the link in the description, and then go ahead and right click it, 7-zip extract it to here, and this is going to give you all the files you're going to need. Go ahead and drag these four folders over the root of your SD card. If it asks you to replace some files, go ahead and do that. And now all you have to do is safely eject your SD card, reinsert it into the Wii U, and then power it on. Now that you've reinserted your Wii U into your SD card and powered it on, there's one last thing we need to do before we go fetch a legit DS Virtual Console game, and that is go into your connection settings, and if you happened to change auto-obtain DNS to not auto-obtain DNS and then put in the custom DNSs to stop you from getting any more future updates, you're going to have to go ahead and re-enable auto-obtain DNS. If you don't have a clue what I'm talking about, click the link in the description and it'll give you a nice visual and you'll figure it out pretty quick. I think if you did enable it already, you should probably know what it is and where to find it. So now that you've auto-obtained your DNS, go ahead and open up the eShop and let's grab BrainAge ahead and launch the eShop. It With your eShop loaded, go ahead and click the search in the top right and search for Brain Age. So this is the game here, Brain Age, train your brain in minutes a day. It's the only Nintendo DS virtual console game called Brain Age. The other one is for the 3DS. Go ahead and click purchase. When it's done, hit continue. When you're back on the eShop, hit the B button, and then from here hit the Home button. You should see your little blue Download Management going. Go ahead and click on it, and once you're in Download Management, you should see your DS Virtual Console game installing. I'm going to head back to the System menu now, and we should see our Brain Age game. And here we have it. This is Brain Age, train your brain in minutes a day, ready to get HaxG installed on top of it. Now first, we have to do a few things. This game has to be 
on your system NAND. It cannot be on a USB drive or an external hard drive. So if it does happen to be on a USB or an external hard drive, go into your system settings and data management and move it over to your system. So I've got this installed on my system. What I did to make sure that it didn't install to a USB was I made sure I had no hard drives plugged into my Wii U when I went and downloaded it. Sometimes if you have a USB plugged in when you download a game, the Wii U will prioritize the USB drive as storage and it will put the game onto it. It's super simple to move it over to the system NAND, so make sure you do that. And once it's on your system NAND, we need to launch this game once just to make sure that it works. So now that we've loaded up Brain Age and we see that it works, what we need to do now is just exit out of this. Now that we've tested and made sure that Brain Age is working fine, what we need to do now is launch the internet browser and attempt to use the 5.5.2 web browser exploit, which is sleepe.ovh. Once your internet browser has opened, what you need to do is go into your settings in the top right and then scroll down, delete your cookies. and then go ahead and reset your save data. Now go ahead and relaunch your internet browser. Now that your settings are all clear, go ahead and type in sleepii.ovh and hit OK. It'll take you to a screen like this. This is Sleepy Hacks. Now what you want to do is tap the big exploit button in the middle there. These other ones are just different deltas that you can try out. Everyone is mainly using the big exploit button at the top. Although some people have had luck with two and some people have had luck with zero. I'm going to go ahead and hit the exploit button and then watch my little me down in the corner because this is going to explain a lot about what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and tap exploit. Now this might freeze and you might have to manually hold the power button on your actual Wii U to hard reset it or to turn it off. And watching my me down in the bottom left corner, soon he's going to yawn and some zeds will start emitting from him as if he's sleeping. Now shortly after that, if there's three zeds, it's going to go ahead and crash. And if it crashes just like it did right there on a normal white screen, then the exploit has crashed. You're going to have to turn off your system, turn it back on, and try this again. Now, if instead the me lets out some zeds and then takes you to a different screen where it's slightly gray and then you see a Wii U logo, you're pretty much good to go and you should keep waiting because hopefully the homebrew launcher will load shortly after that. Now your DS Virtual Console game is legitly purchased, it's on your system NAND and not on a USB, and you've got the homebrew launcher open. So what you need to do is make sure you do not click cold boot hacks cheat installer. That one with the exclamation point, do not click it. Go ahead and look for hacks cheat in the white lettering and the dark background. Go ahead and click on it and it says this will install hacks cheat on your system. Go ahead and hit load. We've booted into the hacks cheat installer and you can see it's picking up all of my pirated DS virtual console games. So this is where you want to make sure you actually pick your purchased legit game. So I've got brain age, train your brain in minutes a day. It is my legit game. I'm going to go ahead and press the A button on it. It says, I have selected the following game, Brain Age, Train Your Brain in Minutes a Day. This will install Hacks Cheat. To remove it, all you have to do is delete and reinstall the game. If you're sure, press the A button or else press the Home button to back out now. So I'm going to go ahead and press the A button. I'm going to make the leap and I'm going to install Hacks Cheat. Here we go, guys. And it was that simple. We are now done installing Hacks Cheat. I can't even believe it. So my system is now going to go ahead and reboot. We've loaded back onto the Wii U and you can see my DS Virtual Console game has been replaced with this little homebrew launcher icon. So essentially, if I click on this, it will now boot me into the homebrew launcher by default. 
If I hold the A button, it will load something similar to Mocha Custom Firmware, which will basically patch my system for me. And when I restart the system, I'm going to have to patch it again, very similar to Mocha Custom Firmware. And then you can also see if you hold B, it'll take you right into WUP Installer GX2. And then you can go into the App Store as well as FTP IU. So what is awesome about this is you can change the config file and get this to boot any homebrew you want by holding a button combination. So I'm going to go ahead and just launch it now and see if it takes me into the homebrew launcher. And there we are. We're now in the homebrew launcher without needing any kind of internet access or a web exploit. How freaking awesome is that, guys? So now what we need to do is block any future updates. So go ahead and open up your system settings and we need to change our DNS back to do not auto obtain. Go ahead and click on the internet button and then connect to internet. Now here click on your connections and then pick the connection you're using. And now go to change settings and then swipe over and you should see DNS. Go ahead and click on it and make sure it's on do not auto obtain. And now change your primary DNS if you're in the US to the top one and your secondary to the bottom one. And if you're in a PAL region, go ahead and make your primary the second one and your secondary the primary one. Now that you have the custom DNS set up, your device should be safe from any more updates in the future and they won't catch you off guard like that 5.5.2 happened to. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you now have HaxG installed on your 5.5.2 device. Make sure you slam that thumbs up and subscribe on your way out if you haven't already. We just broke 5,000 subscribers. Shout out to Shiny Totodile. He was the person that put us over the edge. So now that we are at 5,000 subscribers, the only thing that can go on from here is epicness. Please keep watching, guys. I love you all. Peace.